It's no surprise COVID-19 has made the past couple of years challenging for everyone. The pandemic has taken a toll on nearly everyone, but one industry that's endured some of the most hardship is health care. Carry X5's Chance Stickland spoke with a local hospital CEO who talks about what life has been like for staff working on the front lines and found some surprising new changes that may become the new normal. He joins us live with more. Rob, I'm here at Community Hospital where the first coast where the first case of COVID-19 wasn't actually detected until October, November of 2020. But from that point on, it was all hands on deck. Today, we took a deeper dive into the pandemic and the lessons learned for the future. The first case of COVID-19 was officially reported in Wuhan, China in December 2019. The United States saw its first reported outbreak in January 2020. The virus didn't impact the western slope until late 2020, but then it was almost as if a meteorite of chaos crushed Mesa County. A lot of our outpatient business last spring, so March, April, May, we really were forced to close a lot of our outpatient services, elective surgeries, etc. And so that put us in a pretty big bind. At the time, most industries were laying people off, desperate for a job, but Community Hospital decided to take another route. We found other jobs for people. We kept everybody employed. Our physical therapy, occupational therapy department was basically a ghost town. So we brought that staff back into the, into the hospital and they worked in our food service. Uh, a lot of our nurses, we took advantage of them being available. We sent them to our medical records department. Not only did staff members change their roles, patients began putting off medical treatment, causing some issues to worsen. We're seeing a lot of sick patients that have put off health care during 2020 that have come back to the hospitals now. But before inpatient visits resumed, Community Hospital changed course and decided to go digital. Here is just one of many stories. An elderly couple that had an appointment, wanted to do telemedicine, but did not have adequate internet in their home. So they sat outside of Barnes & Noble, logged on to their internet, the free internet at Barnes & Noble, and had a telemedicine visit with our physicians. Now Community Hospital is preparing for the next health emergency. So many employees were forced to stay home with quarantined children. Community will build a groundbreaking daycare. We are working and finalizing our plans to build a daycare on our campus. Public health and a community fighting the good fight to end COVID-19. Chris Thomas, CEO at Community Hospital, told me today that his family, including himself, will be getting the COVID booster shot as soon as they can and encourages everyone on the Western Slope to do so as well. Reporting first on the Western Slope and live at Community Hospital, I'm Chance Stickland with KREX 5 News. Rob. Thank you, Chance.